Peace family. So, um, I don't know how long this video is going to be because it's going to be more conversational. And, um, but I just wanted to make this video because I was just sitting here thinking about black women and, and our standards and, and how we, we ourselves, um, have to start taking accountability and responsibility for how our men treat us and and let me just go a little further with that um for me my story is that there are times there have been phases with, throughout my life that i have been more free more giving of myself than what i should have been giving people whether that be emotionally mentally physically spiritually it doesn't matter you know it's been many times that I've given myself in ways that I should have never given myself and, and at the time I would say that it's my decision that I'm you know that I'm making a decision on my own like you know that it's not something that they've talked me into and I felt very strong as a woman in the decisions that I made, you know, at that time, you know, and, and some of them, in most of those cases, I would say, I felt very confident in the decisions that I made when I decided to make them. And then just come to find out with me making those decisions, it did have repercussions, which includes the man not respecting me in the way that he should. Um, him not respecting me in a way that I feel like I deserve but yet I haven't really done in my actions anything for him to I understand that my and I'm gonna say promiscuity but I hate that word I really do because it's, it's it's just I don't call it being promiscuous but at the end of the day for me I would say that I've had those moments in my life because I was trying to fill the space within me, a void from past experiences as a child that has never been filled. Um, I felt neglect in some ways throughout my life. And, and with that, as I get older, trying to overcome those feelings of neglect sometimes I cover it up and feel like it's gonna fill that void but in all actuality it never does and 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 that's just something that I had to learn and that I'm still learning now is that there is nobody out here in this world that can fill that void because when I do something thinking that it will make me feel better on the inside because of some void that I have I never do feel better. I need actual healing. You know, so many of us have never experienced men throughout our lives. Maybe you didn't have your father around and you didn't have anyone to show you how a man should treat his, his lady. Because a man who's there for his child to the fullest extent, to his, for his daughter to the fullest extent, He's going to show her every single day through his actions, not his words, how she should be treated. He's going to tell her every day, don't you sit up here and let these men do this. Let me tell you about some about these men. They only want, you know, and it's a difference from getting that talk from your mother or your grandmother than getting it from your dad. Because when it's my granny or my mama, it's like, yeah, yeah. That's your experience, lady. That ain't mine. I'm finna, you know, this ain't that. But if a man tells you straight up, look, this is what it is. This is how men think. This is what you need to be like in order to get the best man you could possibly get. The man who deserves you. That's a completely different thing. It's so different. If a man sat up there and held your doors open your entire life, to the point that when you started dating or when these men started to be interested in you and took you on a date and he didn't hold your door open what that's a no that's a no-go you know at that point 
rather than us allowing these men to give us what they want to give us because it what it is is that we ain't had the best so we don't know what the best looks like and i'm speaking generally but i don't mean this to be general i'm speaking to the people who can relate so i don't need those comments on my video about oh well some men some like i don't want to hear that because those who i'm talking to they know who i'm talking to and they know that this is their internal feelings because it's mine so i'm just speaking from my own experience whatever your experience is i don't mind you sharing it but don't try to negate mine but what i will say is just that it would have helped me out so much more in life if i had a man as i was growing up to show me that i was a queen to show me that i was a goddess a god whatever you want to think of yourself as to show me how valuable I was. Not just tell me, but to show me. So that way I wouldn't, ex like, I wouldn't have settled. But I settled. We settle Every single day in so many different ways. For things that we don't even deserve. For knowing that we don't deserve it. And we think that we can change a man. But that's just not going to happen, lady. Not after you done already gave him the goods. That's what I've realized in my life. That's what I'm realizing every single day because I'm becoming wiser and wiser. That once I give him the goods, it's a done deal. He has nothing to even strive to be when I done already gave him the prize. And that's really what it is. Is that I, I come to say, number one, I've been there and I'm still going through my own internal struggles with how I choose to engage with my men, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. I too, I know where it comes from. It comes from my upbringing. It comes from not having that in my life, not having a man in my life and always trying to fill that void with things without realizing that they don't not everything deserves me it's not about what i feel like i deserve it ain't about me feeling like i deserve love yes i do but does this man does he deserve the love from me that's a whole nother thing and that's what we got to start thinking about which brings me to say that yes our upbringing may be a certain things that we didn't get through our, our, our lives like for me i'm literally learning every single day what to settle for and what not to. I'm starting blank from a slate. Like, it's a blank slate. Whatever a man gonna be for me is because I have worked, I've experienced life in such a way that I had to learn lessons that brought me to the best man that I could possibly be with. But I had to learn a lot of lessons. And I still do, because I know I'm not there yet. I don't even... At the end of the day, we have to start realizing what we are. We have to, we have to heal ourselves from the things that we've been through in the past. And let me tell you, like I said, that void will never be filled. It has to be healed. So whatever it is that we're gonna do to make us feel more whole on the inside so that we can stop giving ourselves or settling so that we don't feel like we need a man just to have a man regardless of what he doing for us we need to do that i need to do that because the bottom line is that <laughs> ladies queens goddesses gods creators of this entire human species that's what I mean, is that you created this. You created this. The world does not live on without the woman. Without the black woman, the world does not live on. Period. You are the first, you are the first. You are the first. A man's life is not complete. He is not a man unless he has a woman and a child, a legacy when he passes away. You, you will always be woman. You will always roar. You will always 
have children to take care of even if you decided not to have children of your own or couldn't have children of your own regardless you are mother of humanity that's power wherever we move our man is gonna move if we if all ladies decided to say no i'm gonna say it's a wrap to any man who ain't doing x y and z i'm not gonna give myself to him then what would they do but step up they would have no choice some of them might go date another race of women but at the end of the day most black men know that the black woman is who she is and they want to be with her so if all black women decided to be accountable for our own lives be accountable for our own future be accountable for our men be accountable for our future children be accountable for the future all the way in general by actually demanding the respect the 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 work ethic the everything that a man a black man should be for us there it go we don't have to complain about them no more when we all decide to just higher our standards and it doesn't mean it's gonna be easy for us it don't mean that you don't still have your needs or your wants and desires but understand that just because you had those wants and desires please 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 let's think with this and let's know that wants and desires they only get larger as we learn a person more so I don't really know what to say about this video cause I mean this is real unstructured I don't know what to say as far as the bottom line I guess the bottom line is just that ladies I feel you I feel for you I am you and now with that understanding of what we are who we are how great we are that we are divine that our man needs us maybe we can start realizing that to be a woman is not to be oppressed if she doesn't allow it is to be empowered is to be the one who controls all of this shit because we literally can control all of this shit if only we step up if only if only we take it upon ourselves to heal ourselves man from whatever it is that we done experienced in our life that shit can be so hard man it's fucked up it's fucked up a woman and a man going through life without a father or a mother but I'm only speaking to what I know I had a feminine energy around me a masculine energy I did not have at least not one that showed me what I deserved that shit is fucked up it got many of us fucked up it got many of us feeling like all different types of ways about ourselves whether it be that we worthless whether it be that we don't never want to get married and who's to say that's a bad or a good thing but hey i'm only speaking by myself right now i don't know i don't know if the fact that i don't want to get married and i just want to live freely is because of the fact that i ain't never seen no successful marriage but that's just to say that we got so many things so many things to heal within our community and we got to start with ourselves that's why i'm talking to my ladies i'm on my journey too so i'm not perfect out here none of us are perfect out here it's a lot of work to be done but we can do it it's up to us women um they won't get it together unless we do all right i love y'all so so much and i i know this ain't everybody so like i say just don't don't ignore the message and get defensive okay
All right. Love you. Peace, love, black power all day, every day. Ain't no other way.